Coverage now of the deadly shootout that left one man dead and an ATF agent fighting for his life. It's now been more than 24 hours since gunfire erupted in a parking lot off of Murfreesboro Pike, and the crime scene there is still active. Felon Corey Wellman was the target of a drug enforcement operation. The bullets started flying around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. ATF still has not identified the agent who remains at Vanderbilt. The agency did tell us he underwent a medical procedure last night and news 2 has obtained surveillance video showing the high drama of that firefight that unfolded at very close quarters. News 2's Andy Cordan gives you a closer look at the intensity of the gun battle and how quick action by a fellow agent may have helped save a life. We've parked these two vehicles bumper to bumper to give you an idea just how close this gun battle was. You had the agents in the van. You had Corey Wellman, the suspect, in his black SUV. From the driver's seat to the driver's seat, it can't be but 10 feet as bullets are ripping back and forth. The surveillance footage begins around 2.15 Tuesday afternoon. It's business as usual behind the country cafe. Suddenly, a silver van filled with ATF agents approaches Corey Wellman's black SUV, watches the silver van bumps the black SUV. Almost simultaneously, the first shot is fired from inside Wellman's vehicle. In this moment, one of the agents opens the sliding van door. It appears he wants to get out, but there are so many bullets flying that he's forced to remain in the van for more than 10 seconds. What unfolds over the next half a minute is a hail of gunfire that witnesses estimate could be 30 to 40 shots. A woman in the passenger seat of the SUV runs for cover as bullets continue to hit the windshields of both vehicles. Wellman's door also flies open. We've blurred portions of this wider angle to not reveal the agent's identities, given the possibility that some of them may work undercover. Agents armed with rifles and pistols eventually take down Corey Wellman, approaching carefully after the gunfire subsides. By now, the wounded ATF agent is behind the van. Other officers, approximately a dozen, quickly converge on the scene from multiple directions. Three fast-thinking agents waste no time, coming to their fallen comrade's aid. They quickly carry him to an SUV, turning it into a makeshift ambulance, rushing the wounded officer to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. All of this goes down in a short amount of time. Only one minute and 45 seconds elapses from the point of the first shot fired until the moments that all officers are able to get the agent en route to the hospital. In Nashville, Andy Cordan, News 2. We are continuing to follow this story. Stay with News 2 and WKRN.com for the latest developments on air and online.